A crazy quilt that features a fun stack and whack technique is coming your way on this episode of My First Quilt. Hi there, I'm Sarah Gallegos and you're watching My First Quilt. In this episode, we are talking about crazy quilts. Now, a traditional crazy quilt is usually made up of lots and lots of scraps of fabric put together just to use up those scraps and you end up with a really fun wild quilt. In this particular quilt, we're working with squares that are stacked and cut and then sewn back together so you end up with a little bit of order to your crazy quilt but it's still kind of a wild one. So let me show you what the actual block in this quilt is. If we look right here, this is the block. It starts off with squares and you cut it into six pieces to stitch it together. I want to show you how that comes together so let me move the quilt and bring my fabrics out. So here is what the completed block looks like in this quilt. You've got lots of these. And there are three special cuts that make this come together. You've got four different fabrics in each one of your blocks. And the way that we get started is we've got four squares of fabric stacked right on top of each other, just like this. So they're all the same size, but they're all four different prints. Now the first step is to make your first cut. So I've got my big rotary cutter and ruler here. And where you cut is kind of a freeform style, so it doesn't have to be exact. We're not really measuring for this. We're literally just cutting our fabrics, which feels kind of funny. So I'm going to cut right along this edge here. I know this is kind of an awkward angle, but I think we can do this. Now we'll move the ruler out of the way, and what you do next is you're literally going to take your top fabric and put it on the bottom of the stack just like this. Then we're going to replace it with the other three. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all four groups together exactly as they are positioned now. Okay, so I've lined up my angled edges here and now I'm just going to stitch with a quarter inch seam. Now I've got my second piece here and I'm just going to keep feeding them in and do basically a chain piecing method here. Okay, next piece, and I literally just moved my cutting mat right next to the sewing machine just to help me keep all of my layers together and uh, in the right order as I stitch. Okay, now that I've stitched all four of my blocks, I'm going to cut them apart, but I'm going to work right from the last one that I stitched. When I stitched, I stitched from top to bottom throughout the stack. So now if I press them and then stack them back up, I'll end up with all of my fabrics in the same order. We don't want to kind of rearrange or restack the deck here. So I'm just going to give my straight seam a nice press and then press that open. There we go. Now we're coming up with our fun, crazy blocks. So there's the first one. Now I'm going to press the next three and stack them again, and then I'll show you the next cut. Okay, so I've stacked all of my blocks again, and now it's time for the second cut. For this one, we are going to cut across the top. So you're angling, and for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate my mat just a little bit. So we are going from your right side edge across to the left, and once again, doesn't really matter, we're not measuring, it's just kind of a freeform style, just like that. Get this out of the way. And now, we need to shuffle the deck again. Instead of moving just one to the bottom this time, we're going to take two off the top and swap those with the two beneath it, just like this. So we're rearranging once again, and now we're going to piece all four of these blocks on this seam line. Mm -hmm. 
all four of my blocks are pressed and we're ready for the third cut, but I wanna point something out. You'll notice that right here, my seams are off a little bit. That's because when I positioned my top piece on my bottom, I lined them up edge to edge. If that's going to bother you, it does not bother me because this is a crazy quilt, so I'm just gonna roll with it, but if that's going to bother you, what you can do is when you line up your edges, you wanna make sure that you've got a quarter of an inch between each of those seam markings where your seams come together and just pin it in position. So it's gonna shift your fabric down. It's not gonna line up perfectly on the edges, but it will give you a nice intersection there. So it's totally personal preference what you wanna do there. Like I said, I lined mine up all the way edge to edge and stitched, but you could shift that fabric down so that those quarter inch seams will match and pin it and then stitch, and then they'll be perfectly lined up. So for our third cut, final cut, we're going to go down this other edge here just like this, give it a slice. And on this cut, we're going to take just the top layer and shuffle it to the bottom. Then you're going to go ahead and stitch all four of your blocks again and you'll have your completed blocks. So here I have a set of four completed blocks. I'm just gonna kinda lay these out and you can see that they're all the exact same fabrics and while there are six pieces in each block, there are only four fabrics. It looks just like this. Then you're going to square up each of your blocks to 10 inches and you can position these any way you like in your quilts. The arrangement is totally up to the eye of the beholder. So here's another one. So you're gonna arrange all of your 10 inch blocks and then stitch them together in rows and your crazy quilt is complete. Now, if you like the look of a more traditional crazy quilt, you can always add some decorative stitches. On a lot of crazy quilts, you'll find that on the seams, there are lots of beautiful decorative stitches with different types of threads. You might find ribbons couched onto those seams, and you'll probably see that in the pieces of the quilts, there are lots of different materials. Materials from different projects, special dresses, different textures, and that's what went into a traditional crazy quilt. I chose to work with a collection of some of my favorite Kay Fawcett fabrics for my crazy quilt, but I hope that I've inspired you to go a little crazy with your own. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. My First Quilt is brought to you by Baby Lock, Madeira, and Hobbs Batting.